What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today I want to talk about roles a little bit more and not really more in depth about the roles, but kind of what you guys are wanting to play. What are you looking forward to playing? From what information we know, and I'm sure there's some things that have not been announced yet for these roles that we may hear about before the summer update is released, or we may have to just wait until it is released till we find out. But it seems to be a pretty popular opinion and that the trader is going to be the best role to use. Now, while I'm really interested in the trader, because uh, I love to hunt in game, so it seems like it'll be a lot of fun to me to have a, a trader type character for a business. A lot of people are really liking the trader because of the uh, wagons. You have extra space to carry things. Of course, the companion, a lot of people wanted that for a long time. Depending on how that companion works, it could be really, really awesome to have a companion. If it's something that you actually can take around uh, with you and not just leave at camp. And also the weapon locker, I think that is one of the big bonuses in my opinion because I own a lot of guns and I really get tired of having to go through everything to find what I want so I can just leave some in the weapons locker and take what I want with me. Now while I think that trader is going to be a big role, I do think the other two roles should be very good as well. I don't think Rockstar will leave these unbalanced for long if they are unbalanced. They may be very balanced when they come out, but if the trader seems to be, I guess, more of a viable thing for people to play with, I think they will balance the other two roles out. Now, the Bounty Hunter uh, seems like it's not going to cost a lot to get into. I still feel like these things are going to kind of, these roles are going to kind of be expensive, especially the Trader. The Trader, you're looking at having to buy, you know, a companion, buy a weapons locker, buy a stew pot, buy a wagon. And I'm sure this stuff's not going to be just given to you by unlocks. I would assume that you have to purchase these things once you unlock them. Now, while the Bounty Hunter doesn't really have a lot announced for it, and of course they had the, you know, lasso that can take down harder enemies, but overall, it seems like the bounty hunter may pay out right now for what we know. It seems like it may pay out a little bit better. Because a lot of people are assuming these bounties are going to be $60 plus dollars for each bounty that you turn in. Now, it's going to depend on if these bounties have a timer on them, kind of like the Stranger Missions, you know, where it makes you have to take a longer time to turn these in. You know, the longer you take, the more money you're going to make. But if that's not the case and you can just do them quickly as you want, I think the Bounty Hunter to start with is going to be a really good thing to pay out a lot of money because 60 bucks a pop, if you can do several within an hour, that's a good bit of money you can make in Red Dead Online. And there's not a lot of things you can do where you can make several hundred dollars online without having to hunt or fish or something like that. The other, of course, is the Collector. I think a lot of people are kind of looking over the Collector. I think the Collector is a neat idea. While it still may cost a good bit to kind of get into the Collector, I'm not sure how much the, of course, the metal detector is going to cost or the new advanced kind of binoculars. But the Collector is a neat thing, in my opinion if you can go find things like artifacts. They, they mentioned things like arrowheads. I'm hoping you can go find other kind of artifacts. I'm hoping it's not just, you know, going to find jewelry and things like every other character can find in game. Even though, even though, though if those things are more unique, I still want it to be unique artifacts that you're finding, not just your basic, you know, treasure. I think overall, all three of these roles are going to be really exciting to play and, and mess around with. And of course, we can swap in and out, they say, within the game as, as much as you want and try them all. But leave me a comment. Look, let me know what role you're looking forward to playing the most and what you think is going to be the best role overall from what we know so far. Of course, guys, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.